What's good? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the journey of rebuilding my motocross bike. So yeah, let's just go all the way back to the start and find out how it broke in the first place. So Tom and I were at the block and I decided I want to get some clips riding the bike around this little track. So we start getting shots, we get around two clips and then I go around this corner to come back and get another clip and as I'm going around that corner, tiny little twig just goes straight up into my chain and just completely stop the bike in its tracks there. I look down and from the gearbox is just oozing out oil. So yeah, because of that one little little twig the crankcase actually cracked a couple bearings in the engine broke as well so I called my dad tried to figure out what we could do at that moment right there and all we could do is kind of bring the bike home he could assess it and we could figure out what to do from there on and yeah as soon as dad and I figured out what needed to be done and what needed to be fixed we got straight into the engine rebuilding process my dad has rebuilt so many engines over the years like fixed bikes done all that kind of stuff so he knew exactly what he was doing so yeah I filmed the entire process of dad and I rebuilding the engine and when I say dad and I rebuilding I mean he rebuilt it and I kind of sat there and watched I did did learn a lot whilst watching him rebuild it though, which is really good, and I can use that in the future. But uh, enjoy Dad and I rebuilding the bike. Got the engine out, the other parts. Here's the broken bit right here, a little crack, so all the oil was oozing out. A couple bearings in there broke as well. I told you, get out of my face. I just need space, no more time to embrace. Bring me to the finish line, it's feeling like a race. Yeah, I'm moving fast, so you pick up. I told you, get out of my face. I just need space, no more time to embrace. Bring me to the finish line, it's feeling like we have now officially got every part of the bike fixed. This is the crankcase and my dad's friend has welded the cracked part all back up. So we just got to grind that back down so it's smooth with everything else. So we got the crankcase fixed and we got the complete engine rebuild kit. And now we're just going to put it all back together and do a complete rebuild. And we finally got the engine fixed perfectly. We got the complete engine rebuild kit in there. We got the crankcase all fixed up and welded and smoothed down. And now we were able to just get into the process of putting the engine back into the bike and putting all the components of the bike all back together. And we smashed that out in like two hours. Man, when you said to me a branch got caught in there, that's the first thing that went through my mind. This? Yes. <laughs> it was the smallest twig. It wasn't a branch, it was a little twig. By the seashore in the off-sea I'm a high roller, shawty, you should get to know me Give a fuck up as your mans, leave a Mr. Lonely Pockets full of bands, got me walking all beats We don't come around no more, we never show them fast there it is the bike is now back together and once it was back together i was so happy it was finally time to start it up we were about to start it up see if it actually run all that time into rebuilding the engine i wasn't sure if it was going to start up my dad was completely confident that it was going to start because he's done it a thousand times i was like really excited and nervous if it was going to start but uh yeah <laughs> moment of truth how many kicks oh, i've no idea just say a number i don't know three or four three or four i just hope it starts honestly
I, I'm so happy that it started. Dad's just checking everything's running properly. I learned a lot during that process, watching my dad, how he tore the engine apart, put it all back together. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> Alright, it's a couple weeks later, we are now down at the block. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, all the tracks are closed, so I can't ride it for the first time after the rebuild at an actual track. So instead, we've come down to the block, gonna be testing it out for the first time after the rebuild. I'm so excited, like, I am so excited to ride. We got a lot of people here today. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six bikes. Gonna take it easy though, gotta warm up the bike. I'm just very scared of sticks right now. So is my engine. Yes! <laughs> Tom, nice goggles. What was the weird? They look sick. You look like Sajjad when he wore them, remember? They are so small. <laughs> Made it to the famous power lines. So yeah, that is my YZ125 complete engine rebuild. I don't even know what else to say. That was so much fun. I just can't wait to go to an actual track again and get some good footage there. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please show the fit some respect and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, racing in jeans when I say I know why these hoes so mad I don't really like to pray Walking with a band, no care Walking out of sex with a bag This a bomb ain't bad Racks in the jeans when I say I know why these hoes so mad I don't really like to break